good YouTube. This is Queen Common Sense back in the building and uh, <clears throat> the Wolf Pack is reunited again and um, the big reveal uh, that I wanted to share with the family is I'm home again. So as you can see my background is a little different uh, quite empty still but we are home safe and sound and um, no more drama now after I do this video I might stir the pot a little bit you know uh, and I really don't give a fuck at this point because I have survived so much in a short two calendar rotations that um, I could give a fuck even less now of what N.T. Bati thinks. Um, I guess you could say this is the Royal Wolfpack comeback, huh? Uh, I hope everybody is well, being good to themselves and each other. Um, I haven't really been too abreast on the YouTube thing because I've been focusing on me and me only um, for a while. That healthy self selfishness that I uh, often have discussed in the recent and distant past. Uh, so I took my own advice and I told most people who were not worth my time to fuck off. And uh, I regained control of a lot of things that were haywire in the midst of the wolf den. Um, survived two hurricanes. <clears throat> um, pulling myself up by the bootstraps one more time. And I know the last go round that I had was uh, assisted by some real toxic, negative, leviathan ridden energy that was sent my way um, and that's what I am here to do now because I was speaking with my oracle who is a very wise wise witch and um, very dear to my heart who has advised me spiritually um, for many years now and uh, this person is my family. I, 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 I see them as my family. Um, so taking their advice, I said, I'm going to come back and take my energy back from these rag hag wannabe faux F-A-U-X witches who like to... Uh, forget who led them to the path that they are on now simply because of you guessed it Leviathan. jealousy green eyed purple people eater damn jealousy um and it's not even the petty shit that i notice you know the little phrases and things that i invent that i say you know in in jest and in my little rants and you know my little uh things that i have coined over the years that does not bother me because freedom of speech is free and if you want to parrot me imitation is the biggest highest form of flattery um even when you think that you're doing it uh in in a toxic way or a way to to display mocking of someone um, imitation is the best form of flattery because that person sees something in you that they otherwise do not see in themselves and they don't have much originality of their own so they have to emulate someone of substance they they deem worthy to imitate so um, from what I have observed over the years collectively um, it's a lot of motherfuckers who still allow me to rent a tiny ounce of free space in their mind. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I hear it time and time again throughout, you know, the little snippets and stuff that I see. Them. People send me stuff or tell me about stuff all the time. And uh, I haven't really, really, really vlogged in a while. Um, the, 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 the most recent one I did was about a month ago. And it, it has shit to do with the fucking YouTube streams. But I'm here to snatch back my energy, you thieving, vampiric, siren motherfuckers. <laughs> I am here to snatch it back. It's, it's, it's a wonder that all these years have gone by and people start, their guilt starts to rise up in their spirit and they'll never openly admit it, never openly acknowledge it, especially in my presence. However, uh, it is really fascinating to see how the very people that were once connected to me, who I assisted in finding their spiritual path, are the same very people utilizing the tools and, you know, that they've discovered about themselves via the bridge that I helped them build, you know. And sadly, you know, people like that like to try to bite the hand that feeds them and then sweep it under the rug as if nothing ever happened, um, as if they have clean hands. And um, whenever they're called to the carpet to uh, be accountable for their hypocrisy and cognitive dissonance, then they want to turn tail, tuck and run as if they are a victim when confronted or approached with their bodacious bullshit. Um, and it's so very uh, heartbreaking to me to have to say that um, these are black women who do this a lot. Um, so much so to where they have to come under the guise of friendship, the oldest Trojan horse trick in the book. And uh, when ousted and exposed, they get either violent, they turn very manic, or they play the position of a victim. And lastly, number four, deny, deny, deny. Have you ever noticed something? When you call people like this out, you say, you know what? You are a fucking snake. You're a fork tongue bitch ass coward for what you tried to do. Even though it was not successful, you weren't woman enough to just stand and look me eye to eye and confront me with whatever issues that you have invented in your mind that you have with me. And you want me to hurry up and jump that hurdle and get over it. Yet, on the flip side of that coin, you can drag it out as long as you so choose behind my back. You see what I'm saying? Very, very, very smart, but not very inventive or clever or wise to do. You know, it's not wise to piss off a witch, a real witch, and it's not wise to treat the queen of common sense like a dummy uh, because I can play stupid very well but I'm awesome and just because I don't say anything right away and a lot of times I don't say anything at all I just allow those to think that I don't see what I see and you know I'm usually a pretty good judge of character my characterization of people it's pretty spot on. And I have some lovely friends that I use for tools to read. And when I do my readings for myself, guess what? That's where I get the information from. Uh, because I've been accused of, you know, trolling people, making fake pages, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, 
anytime I have uh, done anything of such, I put, let you know. Let you know. Quick, fast, in a hurry. I have zero to hide on social media. Don't give a fuck. And my past is what made me who I am on this day. So there's nothing that anyone can use against me to silence me, shame me, or in otherwise edit my freedom of speech and my ability to observe accurately and call the devil out when I see her coming. Yes, I said her because it's usually bitches who do real foul, vile shit that I speak of. And it really hurts my feelings because I don't like falling out with people anyway. And a lot of the things that have occurred collectively over the years, totally unnecessary. Totally, totally, totally unnecessary. Because um, if I pose a threat to you behind the lens of a camera or behind a microphone on an internet show or um, posting text, posting on social media of any venue then the problem lies with you dearie not me it's really unfortunate that people have such delusional thoughts that and they convince themselves of whatever issues they you know are having in their own personal battles you know battling internally so I see y'all fabricated motherfuckers. <laughs> I see you. And thank you. You know, but don't forget who led you to the path you're on now. Don't forget that the queen keeps her receipts and I can prove every fucking thing I say. If I say it, it fucking happened. All right. And I have no desire for an entity reward of attention my currency is far above and beyond anybody paying attention to me especially a multi-personality overlapping disordered nigga okay because that's usually what it's about some niggas attention or a little bit of money or high school mean girl gossip shit. Those are the three things that women usually bicker over. And um, a lot of them have secret desires of their own that they project off onto me. Um, a lot of them um, are protecting certain information that might otherwise be revealed with their defensive, jealousy-ridden tirades that they go on, you know. Uh, I can go on and on, but I don't have all goddamn day. This is my off day, so I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to be on here long. Uh, so, yeah, just a few examples of why bitches do what they do. And they pretend not to be bitches. And these are the very same bitches who always say, you know what? I ain't got no time for it like Fantasia. No time for it. And are up in the middle of every instance of drama and bullshit and dysfunction. Never miss a beat with that. But anything productive and proactive and uplifting? <clears throat> not hide nor hair to be found of that person or people you know and I learned a lot through those lessons in trying to allow broken people to prove themselves not a good idea uh, and these are self admitted broken people you know we're all jaded to a certain degree but you know I don't have to sit on somebody's fucking couch to help me remember who the fuck I am I don't have to take <laughs> that fucking uh, 
psychotropic cocktail to keep my mind right. Uh, I don't have to self-diagnose myself with certain illnesses just to gain and garner attention and uh, help of any kind financially or otherwise. Um, I'm definitely not going to kick or poke fun at my fellow sistren for finding themselves in unfortunate situations because that does not a witch make. Okay? And when you cross your colleagues in the spiritual world realm or practice, your karma is tenfold to be returned to you. And it might not come when you think. It may come when you least expect. So uh, I'm here to tell you out of the witch's mouth. Uh, be careful who you let brew with you in your cauldron. Okay, be careful who you allow into your spiritual realm. All right, now I'm an, of the Native American lineage of Voodoo. Okay, and I've been practicing learning and being taught ever since I was a very little girl. And I'm a bit old school. You know, we got these new age bitches out here who want wish the B was a W on the word bitch. Okay? And they emulate a lot of shit that they see online. And they study YouTube magic is what I call it. Um, a lot of them have not even been properly vetted before they stick their fucking face and knows in other people's business yearning for knowledge and don't know what to do with it once they receive it. And then they allow that to gas their head up and inflate their ego to the point where they can ixnay the very person who led them to the confidence that they behold today. Does that make sense, y'all? Oh, and I'm doing this video pre-recorded because, as I said, we just moved in and we're waiting on the cable company to come and install. So I'm doing videos here to upload uh, because I'm not going to use my mobile data on this bullshit. And uh, I'll stream live once I get my broadband connection wired up through here this house you understand what I'm saying so uh I'm taking my goddamn energy back fuck y'all okay um it's really I'm not flattered you know the wolf pack made our mark and we came we saw, we kicked ass, we proved that, you know, a lot of our community um, hate on each other secretly, just like closet racists do. Um, we proved that because people's behavior says a lot more than their words, if you will. People's reaction to the truth speaks volumes up over their egotistical denial of having issue with their brother or sister. And I see it a lot. And it's not gender specific. I know y'all would love to believe that it's just women doing this to each other. No. Uh, I see a lot of effeminate men, and I use that term loosely, uh, doing it too. Lots of jealousy and envy among the male populace of brothers and it's very sad very sad um <clears throat> same thing you have a couple of good brothers out there who lead 
their fellow companions and cohorts and colleagues to a particular path of righteousness and those very people that took the energy of that powerful leader turn around and bite the hand that feed them and try to shit on them because they could not manipulate and or control said friend or leader it's really sad so uh fuck you bitches and i know who sent me that fucking hex i do and um you better put your catcher's mitt on, bitch, because I got you. Um, to my beautiful, beautiful family members who gave me the advice to do this video, if you're watching, I love you. And I just might send you this link. I know you're busy, though, doing big things. And I'm very proud of you. You know who I'm talking to. And this is purposely passive aggressive for any slow motherfucker who wants to come make a comment and say, I sound like she talked about somebody that I know. You might know them, okay? And if I have to, I'll call names. I don't give a fuck. So gangster. So, um, we have landed, goddammit. That's the biggest news. That's the best thing. That's the more important than that other shit that I was just talking about. But I just wanted to make sure I put it on the dial out in the atmosphere so those who say they ain't watching no more can see it. Because I know whenever I post anything, they say, I don't look at that bitch no more. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You be waiting for me to upload stuff. And when I do, you probably first one there. So uh, off I go. And um, I might come back next week sometime once I get my little, you know, place in order. Furnishings are on the way and everything like that. So um, I might stream us shopping for our car. We're going to get us a new little roundabout. Something, you know, to push around for a little while. So uh, peace, family. One love, one unity, black power. My God damn it. Take your power back. Take your energy back. Don't let people vamp off of you and try to copyright that shit as their own. Because they know where the fuck they found the path. They know who led them to the river. And they turn around and try to shit on you. Let them know. So, I'm out for right now. Peace. Hotep. One love, one unity, heal the goddamn nation.